Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. There's lots of new things, actually, since, uh, since the last video. This has all been working on stats, attributes that you can upgrade to progress your character. Um, this is going to be like an online character progression where you... Um, you get to choose different attributes to upgrade. Every time you play a match, you're gaining experience, sort of like a meta experience level. And uh, you use that meta experience level to, to uh, you get light points, and you can use those light points to upgrade different stats. So uh, first of all, the little, one little change here is we've got a new stats menu. Um, so this ha at the end of each match, it'll, it'll break down all these different new things. Now we've got hits, misses, your accuracy, how many shield blocks you had, and even the distance that you ran during that match, even healing. Um, so that's in addition to all the stats we had before. And if I had let this match run, we would have seen a lot more numbers appear on this screen. But so uh, we'll just skip this for now. And uh, here we have some new stuff here for the stats menu. So um, first of all, it animates your character whenever um, you're going up, a, um, when you're increasing attributes. In fact, it looks like I did something last night, so it broke it a little bit. But he used to lift his arm there and do an animation. I've got all the code there for that. So basically, well, there'll be some kind of cool animation um, for your character, and it sort of shakes the menu a little bit and does a little bit of light uh, behind the character whenever you're upgrading one of these attributes. And most importantly, all of these attributes now are implemented. So in the game, if you upgrade these match, these these attributes here, your character will have some benefits um, for every, every single one of these is not working. Um, melee attack, ranged attack, explosive attacks, defense ratios for all these things, um, critical chance, damage reflection, stunning, even all these elements. These elements are kind of cool because um, as you upgrade these elements, it increases the chance that you'll be able to do a, an ice attack. So for example, if I power up my ice, there's, I have a 16% chance that all of my regular attacks will just suddenly become icy attacks, which will freeze enemies. Same thing with fire. Fire spreads. Um, lightning is pretty cool because it, it chains to different entities. Acid is really neat because it creates pools of damaging uh, little areas where they get damaged. Um, these are in decreasing the cost of your abilities. So this is decreasing the cost of all your speed abilities by up to 32%. Um, this is increasing the shield duration. And it also shows, since last the last video I did, this now shows the actual stats, um, what it actually does. So right now, like for example, the shield duration, it starts at 0.62 seconds, and it shows you as you're increasing a pip, it shows you, okay, cool, I'm getting up to, all right, that's all the way to 1.24 seconds. And uh, every single one of these stats is uh, has that, that number next to it, which just kind of explains what, what it is. Um, this you know hit point regeneration is four per second, um, and a big important thing to, to uh, I had to do to implement all these stats was to multiply the hit points and ma matter points, which is mana, uh, by ten. So before I had a pretty simple system where when you did an attack, a normal attack, it would do from anywhere from two to four damage. Now that's been multiplied by ten, so that's anywhere between twenty and forty damage. In fact. Um, we can show that. Let's get this uh, running again, and uh, you'll see that all the damage I'm doing, all my attacks, um, are multiplied by ten. I think I might actually um, make it so that it displays all the hit points as divided by ten, so it just makes it a little bit easier to read. In fact, if I go and like, uh, see how it's now it's showing minus twenty minus 30 for all the damage I'm doing on these these uh, rocks, these pillars here. Um, that used to be minus two, minus three, which is a little bit easier to read. And in fact, at the bottom of the screen, we've got the, the uh, actual numbers on my, my hit points and matter points. They're now 875 and 625, and those used to be 87 and 62. Uh, so maybe it's a little bit easier to read when, they're, uh, when they, I divide them by 10. Um, however, it's just much better for the mathematics of all the uh, stats or the upgrades, the attributes that you can upgrade. Um, 
when they're multiplied by 10. Um, for example, like even the hit point regeneration didn't really work that well at all when it was uh, too low because you couldn't you couldn't really break down one uh, hit point to enough. So, man, I'm getting some really slow frame rates right here. I got a lot, I got a lot going here. A lot of things open and stuff on my computer right now. Uh, so, what else to show? What else to show? So the stats. Oh yeah, we should have just let the stats run to play. Oh, let's show the world erosion. This is kind of cool. So the world erodes a little bit better now. Um, I got oh I got to really play the game with my friends here. Um, we have a yearly beach house trip, which is really great. We had all our friend my friends there and uh, their families and stuff like that. So lots of players to be able to play Wraithbinder. We did some four player split screen, and uh, some ideas came up from that. And one of these ideas was that we really need to um, make it so the matches end. Um, after about 60 seconds after the world erodes. So let's look at the world erosion. The world erosion is something that basically just uh... Wow, what is taking so much CPU? Open broadcaster, I guess. Wow. Huh. Alright, anyways, uh, so world erode so let's, we're going to set the delay for that to just zero. And we're going to set the duration to 30 seconds. And uh, this will make the world erode really fast. And we'll see that as the world erodes, it, everything comes down to the middle, the very, um, the very middle of the match, or the, the battlegrounds. And then it kicks in a 60 second timer. So after 60 seconds, the match ends. Um, I think I'm going to consider whoever wins the match at that point to be, or whoever has the most race at that point is the winner, and it's possible that there's a draw. So, man, things are going really slow on my laptop right now. It's like, I think something might be running in the background I'm not quite aware of. This is crazy. It's also a very, very hot day. We're having a huge heat wave in my area right now. Um, so, dang, this is just like incredibly slow all of a sudden. Wow, 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 wow. I think we're gonna have to call this video short here in a second.